I hold grave concerns this morning over the looming superbugs set to pose an extreme threat across the globe. A new study has revealed nearly 40 million people worldwide could die from antibiotic-resistant infections and another 169 million could die of related causes. Resistance happens when bacteria develops the ability to survive the drugs that once fought against them. And now doctors are scrambling for a solution as sick patients become harder to treat. For more, I'm joined by biotech CEO Morad Aikenbaum, who's currently developing a drug to tackle this problem. Good morning. Thank you, first of all, for what you're doing. What's antibiotic resistance like here in Australia? Hi, Nat. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Like, it's a, it's a real important problem. So in Australia, it's, a, it's already a big issue. So we're often the last in the world to get... Uh, they get the latest antibiotics, so our doctors don't have all the tools available. Um, but also, we, we're, we're maybe not as aware as we should be. Right, so you believe even more people could be killed by antibiotic resistance than what the stats are saying? Yeah, unfortunately, so when, um, when patients um, die of, um, of, for instance, um, that, like they have cancer, they often die of an infection, but on their death certificate we, we write that it's uh, a cancer. So we, we're underestimating how many people already are dying because of these infections, which has um, caused this blind spot, really, in our research. So have we been over-prescribing for all these years? Yeah, there has been a lot of, like, it's, it's over-prescription, um, but also using it in the wrong way. So a lot of people, they, that, you know, they get their antibiotics prescribed, but then only used um, two days of the course rather than the full uh -huh. course. Um, they might discard the antibiotics in the bin, and they, they keep on causing more resistance wherever they go. OK, so the doctor says take the whole packet, and sometimes we don't. Um, how is your work going to solve this? So, like, well, we, we've got... Um, we thought there is a different way. So, obviously, um, by have, repeating the same issue and keep on getting more antibiotics, we keep on having the same problem, but in the future. What we found is that there is an energy cost for bacteria to be resistant, and so our treatment um, makes the bacteria drop their weapons of resistance because there's too... Like, it becomes too complicated for them to too tired. Um, and that's a whole new way of treating this. That means that the oldest antibiotics are becoming functional again. So we're going to get a full arsenal of antibiotics back. That's what we're hoping to achieve. 